My name is Jamali Sali and I welcome you to this episode of the Ideation Corner. The Ideation Corner is a space where ideas are discussed and dissected. And today I host Kavita Chiwanuka, who is the co-founder of Quick Care Clinics and Wellness Center. And he's going to tell us all about it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, Quick Care Clinics and Wellness Center is an organization or a company we set up. Mm -hmm been in operation since 2018 mm -hmm. and the idea of what we're trying to achieve is looking after managing chronic diseases. Mm -hmm. As we adopt more and more of a western lifestyle, chronic diseases are becoming rampant mm -hmm. in our society so we felt, my partner and I, that we needed to look into that space and not just be a normal clinic that treats acute care, mm -hmm. which is your malaria and the works, we concentrate mainly on chronic diseases, which is diabetes, high blood pressure, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Part of that, we also deal with weight management. We have a program that we run that's called Weight Pro, mm -hmm. and that delves into lifestyle management. So you deal with your weight, but with a lifestyle change. Right. Those are our two main focus mm -hmm. in quick care clinics. So why, why, why the chronic diseases? Why did you decide to focus on those? They're not given much attention, mm -hmm. as it were. Well, you just find out that you have high blood pressure and then you start taking the medication. Uh, right. Simplistically, yes. <laughs> but there's more to it than just that. You, know, yeah. you could take the medication for years, but the pressure could get worse. Or if you don't change certain elements out of your life, mm -hmm. the medication might not be as effective as you ought it, it ought to be. Okay. So we felt it needed more attention. And the fact that there's increasing numbers of people suffering uh, in Africa or in Uganda as particular, mm -hmm. we felt it was a space that needed more attention. Um, people do have blood pressure and they don't know it. Yeah. Those that have it, maybe are not managing it well. Usually you find out when it does something to you. Like you, you get yeah, something, you go to a hospital and then they tell you, oops, you have high blood pressure. Like, really? Unfortunately, most of the times people yeah. will... You'll have a headache running for six months to a year, constant mm. or blood vision, and you're like, ah, it's, I'm just stressed, I'm tired. Mm. And you don't pay attention to it, and something tragic happens, and you're in hospital, and they check you, and they're like, oh, but you have blood pressure. And you're like, no, I don't. Mm. And I guess you do. <laughs> no, I don't. And they test it two, three times, and like, yeah, you do. they confirm it's the mm. right diagnosis, and treatment normally starts. Okay. But having had it for quite some time, by then you don't know how much damage it has already done to your body because mm -hmm. in some corners or in the medical world, they call it one of the silent killers. Mm -hmm. It progresses quietly, unknowingly, and mm -hmm. tragedy strikes at times without even knowing. Okay. So you've heard of people that say, oh, he died of a sudden. He just died, and yet he was very healthy. He used to run. Sometimes it's just a heart attack that yeah. happens, and he didn't know. She didn't know, and just that happens. Okay. So we felt that space needed more attention, mm. hence the wellness center we created. So you, 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 you're targeting people who may not even know they have these chronic diseases, and on, in addition to those that <laughs> yes, know, right? yes. So part of the wellness that we do is we encourage people to do annual checkups. Mm -hmm. That's one of the easiest ways to know. So at a particular age, there's recommended checkup tests that one ought to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, men at a particular age are encouraged to do a prostate exam. As you age, your organs change, your body changes. Depending on the lifestyle that you've lived before as well, that could affect what happens in later years. Mm. So prostate cancer is one of those most common things nowadays, and men are encouraged to do that check. To do the check once a year? Just once a year. Okay. You go for a check. It's... Nowadays, it's non-invasive. It's just a simple blood test. You take your blood. We check the prostate levels in your body. If there's any suspicious numbers, more tests are recommended and what have you. If there's none, you're given a clean bill of health. Let's come back next year. Mm. Again, okay. for the same test. Yeah, same test. <laughs> just to monitor that nothing is changing. And if it's changing, what can we do about it yeah. in early stages? You know? Because yeah, you were telling me about the, how important it is to, if there's anything, to catch it out. The earlier the better, you know. Mm. If, for example, cancer is staged, it starts from stage one to stage four. Stage one, your chances of curability are very, very, very high if it's picked up in an early stage. The 
more stages you get into, by the time you get to stage four, the chances of curability are very, very narrow, very slim. And the treatment that's required at different stages becomes more and more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, a while back, we had uh, the unfortunate event of a breakdown on the cancer machine at Mulago and certainly cancer radiology machine we have in the country. So you can imagine what that cost yeah. life-wise. So if you had picked it up in stage one way before you needed you don't need it that, that machine. machine, your chances of survival. Being the country that we're in, healthcare is in such a disarray that rather you know mm. sooner than later. Right. It becomes very expensive. Okay. So that's what we push for in the wellness aspect, mm. once a year. Okay, so for the guys, yes, they come once a year to do their prostate yes. cancer test. And then the females. It depends on age. Um, uh, the most common cancer nowadays in the females is uh, cervical cancer. That is recommended, depends on age. Uh, above 40, it's normally every three years or before, or is it every five years? 35 and so, it's every five years. So it's not an annual check, mm -hmm. but once in so many years, you, can, you must do it. Okay. The basic ones that you're supposed to do on annually is your blood pressure check, your cholesterol check, kidney function, liver function, just to make sure they're ticking. In the that's, right direction. that's for everyone. That's for everyone in general. Okay. Because your body has these organs and they must work. <laughs> if they work optimal, the life is good. Yeah. If they work suboptimal, things happen. But if I feel good, like um, I, I feel so good right now, I don't think I need a test. I need a te you know, I feel good. See, earlier on, that's why I said uh, <laughs> blood pressure is called a silent killer. Yeah. You will have it for years and you'll never know. You may still feel, be feeling good, but feel the, thing good, is, yes. the thing is in there. Because the the... Um, the alert systems the body gives us sometimes are ignored. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure, for example, the easiest alert system is a constant headache. Normally, mm -hmm. that some people take a panado and the headache is it goes away. You drink some water. You drink some water. They tell you, yeah, it's stress. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. So its symptoms. If I had unfortunately, a long day. That's can, why. Yeah, its symptoms can be masked by anything. Okay. Oh, I've had this headache for two years. I take a panado and I'm, I'm good. <laughs> But in the meantime, it's destroying elements, organs in your system. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called a silent killer. So you will look good, feel good, mm -hmm. life will go on as normal, and tragedy strikes mm -hmm. sometimes at the worst. So hypothetically, if I, f I, I feel good, but you're telling me to come for the annual check, I come for the annual check. Is there any way of catching the high blood pressure early to where I do not need to take medication? Yes. Yes. So blood pressure is also staged. Mm -hmm. So there's a pre hypertensive stage, there's a certain levels depending on the level of pressure that you have. So the doctor will stage you and say you're pre-hypertensive or st stage one or stage whatever. Now at that time, normally the first element to do is lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. For some people, some patients, it could be just a little bit more exercise, it could be drinking more water, changing your diet, that could lead you to not needing medication. medication. Okay. But depending on what the causative effect is, you could have just be dealt a set of certain genes that mm -hmm. yours might require medication on the onset. So the doctor has to assess based on the level of pressure mm -hmm. and the causative agent. Okay. If it's your kidney perhaps that's failing, that's leading to blood pressure, certain rules will apply. Mm -hmm. But regardless of all of it, Exercise, a little less uh, salt, more water, <clears throat> all that mm -hmm. could lead you to a better, longer life as opposed to taking medication for all. Okay. So you did mention <coughs> the genes. So my dad has high blood pressure. My mother had high blood pressure. Would that mean that I'm one of those people with those genes that is likely to have high blood pressure? Probability. The probability could be high, but it's unknown. It's... There's a school of thought mm -hmm. that links it to genes. There's a school of thought that does not. So the best is to always just check. Mm. So the medical field hasn't yet agreed on this? That your genes are the ones that determine your health or it's your environment that determines your health? The beauty of science is that everything all changes depending on the angle that you're looking at it from. So history tells us, or science tells us, 
certain types of blood pressure causes could be genetic. Certain types are health, environmental. For example, for a person that consumes too much salt, there's a propensity that you will eventually get blood pressure. But then you find people that take so much salt that and it has no right. effect on them. Okay. <laughs> so it's really one of those. So the best element is to always check. So you like, can just test, just test, find just out. Test. And then... Get no, yeah. know what the result is and then decide what to do next. If you find that all is well, yeah. carry on as normal. Okay. So quick care, yeah. you offer these testing services. But I'm wondering, a lot of people offer them the testing services. Is there anything? Why would I have to walk into quick care? I could just go take blood tests from wherever. Well, at Quick Care, our focus is on preventative and curative medicine as well. That's why we uh, concentrated in the wellness space. Mm -hmm. You know, you could walk into any lab and say, oh, I want a kidney function test done, and they'll do it. Then they give you the results. So you'd ask yourself, so what's next? If that's not their space, they mm -hmm. might not tell you. You're like, yeah, you're fine, go on. Carry on. Yeah. In our space, we will propose an array of tests based on your age, based on your physical shape, based on your activities, and then we'll have the right type of test for you. Then the doctor will interpret the results. So wait, it's not standard, it's not like I just go and I know that they do tests, as I know, yeah. they do high blood pressure tests, mm -hmm. they do sugar level tests, yeah. they do cholesterol tests, they mm -hmm. do, uh, I, I, I kind of know these. Yes. So I can't, if I walk into a lab, I could just order for those. But now you're telling me that yeah. I, you, if I walked into your quick care, yeah. you'd have to say, how old are you? Yes. What is your weight? What is it? And then from that, you determine yes. the tests, the specific exactly. tests that I do. Yes. It's not just a standard thing. The standard generic ones are those that everybody does, the blood pressure, cholesterol, and the wax. But every age bracket mm. has a specific type of test that is required for that age bracket. Okay. So looking at, speaking to the doctor, he or she will determine your actual needs and they will test accordingly to that. Mm. So it's customized yes. to me. It's to you because okay. you, you're an individual. Again, like we said, your genes, everybody's genes are different. We, we, you can't blanket everything. So once the doctor tests that or determines that, he'll then send you to the lab, get the test done, get the results and then discuss with you the test's results and the recommendations based on your results. Mm -hmm. So the uniqueness of that is that the customized idea is that you get to know what you need to do as an individual. Mm. Do you need more exercise? Do you need more water, more sugar, mm. less sugar? Whatever the case is, the doctor discusses that with you on a personal level. Because mm -hmm. if you just walk into any lab and you order them, you, you get them, so You're what like, next? Yeah, you have high blood pressure, take some medication. Yeah, and that's... Then we walk, we'll walk into a pharmacy, this is what happens. You go, <laughs> you hear that I should be taking these tests. Yeah. First of all, you hear it. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, fine, let me go test. You're like, high blood pressure, cholesterol. You go yeah. to a lab, they test, mm -hmm. then they tell you your blood pressure is high. So you walk into a pharmacy. Yeah. You're like, hi, I need blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. And that's what people do. You self medicate. But this is not which safe, type but... of blood pressure medication do you okay. need? Why do you need it? How long must you take it for? Do you take it in the morning? Do you take it in the evening? Uh, all that, do you take it twice a day? Do you take it three times a day? All that is customized to the individual. You must know what you need, when you need it, and how much of it. So at Quick Care, we always ensure that we look at you as an individual. We customize what you need. For example, very few people are ever going to say, oh, I need a syphilis test, as an example. <laughs> what? Why would I do because Why would you think you need a syphilis test to begin with? The doctor will determine that <laughs> speaking to you and your lifestyle and what have you, he, will, he or she will determine, oh, based on what you're describing, yeah. you, you might need, need this test. type of test. And they will do it. Okay. But before the doctor does it, of course, they'll discuss with you what their recommendations are and the reasons as to why they're recommending that. Mm -hmm. Then you will, if you're comfortable with his recommendations agree and say, okay, let's go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. If you feel like, mm, you leave that one out, I'm yeah, not like, really concerned. On, really. <laughs> if he hasn't convinced you good enough, then you can leave it out. Okay. But it's customized to you because mm -hmm. you're an individual. Okay. So at Quick Care, we always endeavor to customize. So how do you get to know about my lifestyle? I mean, I could, I could walk in and, you know, I tell you wonderful things. That's the dialogue with the doctor. Okay. 
The doctor will ask you certain questions, you give him the information, and based on that communication, he or she will determine what's required. Yeah. So if you lie in a dialogue, of course, yeah. you'll be misguided. <laughs> if you're truthful, of course, okay. you'll do the right thing, yeah. you'll get the right information. Okay. There's a lot you can prevent just by doing those tests in the long run. You said about blood pressure in your family, simple blood pressure tests, mm. very, very simple. Yeah, yeah. They put the cuff on you, they pump it up, they do it three times, and then they determine that, okay, you're good to go. Mm. Nothing to worry about. Mm. Oh, well, that, that day I could have been stressed due to work, you know. So, I, think, I think there was a time they did my blood test, yeah. my blood pressure test, and then I, I concluded that I was I had had a stressful week, really. So it's understandable that my yeah. pressure is really high. And it was a, not a very nice environment. It was a stressful environment, even in which they did yeah. the test. So yeah. they're the ones actually probably who strike <laughs> it. That, that's, that's true. <laughs> there's, there's articles that have been written about it that uh, they, they call it the white uh, white court blood pressure test uh, people, we see the doctor get into yeah you get stressed you get stressed and the <laughs> pressure shoots up for so for no reason so ideally what they're supposed to do is let you come down sit for five ten minutes mm -hmm. relax have a relaxed environment which we endeavor to have a quick care mm -hmm. so that the test is done but it's not as easy as just one test and it's done mm -hmm. We repeat it several times. Okay. The ideal way to confirm any diagnosis is to be 100% sure that it's the right diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So you do two, three times where the patient is relaxed, then you confirm from it and the steps that you must take after that, okay. diet, recommendations and the like. So we create the ambient environment to ensure mm -hmm. you get the right test that you So it's not stressful, white, sterile, you know, nah. metal. No. Nah. <laughs> our, our focus Syringes. is... Our focus is preventative <laughs> wellness. Uh, preven By the way, tell me about that. Like, talk more about the preventative. Because I, I like that aspect of we preventing the diseases rather than we waiting to treat the disease. Because you doctors have, you have a reputation. We feel yeah. like you love us sick. <laughs> and then you get us sick and then then you keep us sick. You know, you, you yeah. keep us on medication that just keeps us sticking along, <laughs> sticking along. You know, we're paying you. Yeah. So I like the aspect of prevention. Like uh, the saying goes, prevention is better than, uh, than cure. Mm -hmm. So if you catch something early, if you are, have a propensity to blood pressure, for example, there's a prehypertensive stage. You're not really hypertensive yet, but you're borderline hypertensive. That's something you can catch early. It's something you can work on through a whole lot of interventions, diet, exercise, and the like, mm -hmm. that will move you from the prehypertensive stage to normal. Mm -hmm. So that's preventive. You're preventing the propensity or the likelihood of you eventually getting blood pressure. Okay. So that's the element we want to focus on. That's the wellness aspect of our side of business is mm -hmm. your prehypertensive, these are our recommendations. Mm -hmm. If you follow them, you work with us, you could go back to normal. Mm -hmm. If you carry on as normal and you don't do anything, you don't intervene. You don't even test, you don't find out. You're definitely going to go up. So okay. that's the preventative side of business that we do. So if someone hypothetically is listening to us right now and they're like, okay, let me, let me go check these guys out. Where do they find you? We are located in Bogolobi mm -hmm. uh, on Bandali Rise. Mm -hmm. That's the road behind Village Mall. If you on Lutuli Avenue, mm -hmm. it's the road right after the shell on the side. Um, there's Dr. Kasenene as well. He's on the same road. Mm -hmm. So those that know Dr. Kasenene, Children's Medical Center as well is on the same road. So we are on that road. Okay. So yeah. I walk in and I'm like, okay, you guys say you, you do tests. <laughs> so normally what we... Uh, encourage people to do is book an appointment. Okay. It's normally easier or better. We'll give you a lot more time mm -hmm. if you have a slotted appointment time. We endeavor to honor our appointment times. How do you book the appointment? You telephone. You call? Yes, okay. you can call us. You can WhatsApp us. Mm -hmm. uh, all our numbers on our website. So you book your appointment. You come in at a slotted time. The doctor will give you the ample time that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, we normally do 30, 40 minutes <laughs> consultations. Because it's, it's time that the doctor needs to dialogue with you. Mm -hmm. As opposed to curative, uh, curative medicine where you just come in, you have malaria, you come in, 
Yeah, come in, I tell you, I, I am. I think I have malaria. My temperature is high. Start and all that. <laughs> There's not enough time to do because you've just come in. So if many of you come in to do malaria, mm. the doctor needs to treat all of you. But if you come in with a booked appointment, yes. we endeavor to ensure you get your appointment on time. Okay. If it's ten o'clock, we are there at ten o'clock. We give you the time that you need, so we don't slot in more patients okay. prior or after you mm -hmm. until you get your ample time. So as long as you made your booking, you get the time. You get the time. You come in, the doctor will consult. The doctor will give you time. They'll ask you a series of questions, and then they'll say, "Okay, these are standard tests, but based on what you've discussed, da da family history is important." Mm. He or she will then say, "Okay, I recommend okay. these extra because of the risk factor that you pose, genetics, and blah blah blah." Mm -hmm. And then that will go ahead. Then do you guys do the tests? If I we agree. do the tests, most of the tests that we do there, like you say, my blood and everything. Yeah. Okay. So whatever else that you need, we also guide you or walk through with you in the healthcare mess. So if we say, oh, this particular test is at, at this facility, go there, we send you there, we ensure that when you get the results, you bring them back to us, we interpret them for you so that we put it all together for you and say, okay, this test you did from the other side, da, 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 and we add them together and we say, okay, this is the, the bill of health that you have. These are the risks you're facing. These are all your clean bill. We give you the clean bill. Okay. If you need any facility or a scan or whatever that we don't have, we will guide you to where it is. Okay. So we don't just say, oh, you go out there. Go and do it. Yeah, do it. And <laughs> yeah, no. You bring it back to us. We send you to the people that we work with. Yes. They do the testing. You bring it back to us. We interpret it for you. And we give you a clean bill of health. Okay. Yeah. So I've seen, I've seen these tests before. Um, my dad does a lot of tests. We have to. Yeah, he has high blood pressure, but and and I've read them because you can you can you can read them. They, mm -hmm. They're quite mm. good. Yeah, I mean we, we think we can read them. We're not yeah. doctors, but we think we can. Yeah, uh, because they tell you uh, your four point five, mm. but the normal range should be between three and three point nine. Yeah. So now you know your four point five. Mm. So you know, oh my goodness, whatever that is, yeah. I'm bad. Yeah. So I've read my dad's test where mm. I know whatever that is. He's bad. Yes. Whatever that is, he's badly off. Whatever yes. that is, he's badly off. Yes. But I don't know what that is. I just okay. know that in of the ten criteria, they've tested him on mm. six. Yeah. And out, out of he's out of yeah. those things. Yeah. So now, and I kept wondering that I wish someone could just come and tell me that if you fix criteria two, it will fix the others because you yeah. know it's one. Yeah. It's a system. The mm. body is a system. Yes, it works together. So do you do that? So when we do our chronic disease management, one of the critical aspects that we do all the time is to ensure the patient understands what the disease is. Mm -hmm. You cannot manage the disease properly without the intervention or the help of the patient because the patient is the one that will eventually handle what they need to handle away from the facility. Mm -hmm. So if we test the elements, we try to educate the patient that, look, if this is out, it means this. How do you intervene? You should do this and that. Mm -hmm. If this is out, rest, take up an adult, relax, drink plenty of water, that should put it back in sync. Mm -hmm. And the reasons as to why it's out of sync, perhaps you've missed your morning dose of your medication, that will throw a whole lot of things out. So we try to endeavor to educate the patient to understand the condition. What is blood pressure? What causes it? What signs and symptoms do I get when the pressure is high? Mm -hmm. So that you can understand the triggers and not ignore them. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, our doctors available as well that you can call the doctor. Because once you are working with the doctor, mm -hmm. they're available to you. You can call them and say, look, doc, I'm feeling this way. What should I do? Then the doctor will advise you telephonically. If you need to come in or not, you say, oh, no, take this, do that. You missed your dose, take it now. Mm -hmm. So carry on like that. So... We hold your hand and we walk with you in there. So if I walked in and then oh, made the appointment, <laughs> let me know if I walk in. Yes. <laughs> the appointment is really critical. Yes. Make, if I made the appointment and then they give me a slot, I come, have my 40 minutes with the doctor. Yeah. He prescribes whatever it is that they, mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm saying he, he or she yes. prescribes whatever test that I need to, to do. Yeah. Then I get my test back, I come back for interpretation, right? Mm -hmm. And then they interpret. Do you then, if, if I need help, Right? Like yeah. There are certain criteria that, you know, you guys want to help me prevent or maybe now I need to go on medication. Mm. Do you then continue that journey with me or you're just like, yeah, now, well, this, this is the diagnosis. Go. go yeah. Away. So patients do 
clinic hop, and unfortunately mm. normally, mm. we try to ensure that you stay with us. You know, if you stay with a particular doctor and they're doing the right thing with you, it's best because the doctor will know when things are out. Mm -hmm. So in the education journey, there are certain tests that you're supposed to do maybe every three uh, months or every six months or whatever the case is. So the history helps a lot. So if you're with us and you stay with us, we assign you a doctor that will always treat you. Mm -hmm. And we tell you, okay, we need to repeat this at this stage. We need to see what this one is doing. We need to see where limit this is at. We need to ensure that the medication is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So the continuity of care is very important that mm -hmm. you're with us, Hmm. We assign you a doctor and we ensure that continuity carries on. But so then I could have around, a, a personal doctor then? You could have a personal doctor, yes. Okay. If you stick around, you get a personal doctor and you know, okay, Dr. Umar or whoever it is, is my doctor. If I need anything, I call him. Okay. If I have a reappointment, it's set in three months' time, I must come back. We also get to a stage where we then deliver your medication for you mm. as part of our services ah, under convenient. chronic disease. Yes. Yeah. So we do the convenience. So if there's... Slated labs that you must do at a certain time. If you don't need to come in, we'll send a person to your office or your home, draw the blood and do the tests, and the doctor will call you if everything is okay and tell you, okay, everything is fine. Oh, oh you can even come over my test? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's helpful. We do that. Mm -hmm. uh, convenience, we, can, we do concierge so we can come to you. We do medication deliveries so that you don't miss out on your medication. So we normally call the patients first and like, the next dose is due in the next two to three days. Should we deliver to your house or your office? Where do you want us to bring it to? Mm -hmm. uh, we have signed up certain insurance companies that are also on board with us. So mm -hmm. they do pay for the service as well. Okay. So we give the convenience. We do the hand holding. Mm -hmm. If you need uh, treatment elsewhere, if you need to see a particular specialist that we don't have, mm -hmm. we will tell you that you need to see this particular specialist. They're at this facility. We send you for the consultation. And we liaise with them on what is happening. Mm -hmm. And then you come back to us and we try and explain to you further what's going on. Okay, it's full 360 service, which is helpful. That's the wellness aspect yeah. of it. We also have the element of uh, mental wellness as well. Mm -hmm. So lots of people sometimes are in denial mm -hmm. that, oh, I have blood pressure. You, I'm 35 years of age. Mm -hmm. I play football. I go to the gym. I run. I run two kilometers every year. Yeah. Why do I have my blood pressure? I run marathons. Yeah. So they refuse to take the medication or they're in denial. So we have a healthcare and mental wellness component on it. Mm. So we have psychologists, we have psychiatrists as well. And so we try to cover the whole 360 body work that mm. needs. If you need a psychiatrist, we have them on board. If you need to lose weight as part of the um, treatment regimen, mm. we also do weight management as well in the lifestyle audit as well okay so we take care of everything that would affect your disease mm. that you, you're suffering from including my emotional well-being your emotional your uh, psychological well-being mental physical mm. spiritual we, we don't do much in the spiritual you know aspect <laughs> but <laughs> we, we, we try to stay but but the maybe, maybe, maybe you, you, you could have a you could have a, a father or a reverend who is also on yeah. your on your recommendation. That, that, that we leave <laughs> to, to, to the patient to deal with whatever <laughs> like you and the, your the board, spiritual. That's your thing. It's yeah. between the two of you, so we stay out of that element. <laughs> but we deal mainly with the mental, yeah. the physical. Mm. Those are the critical aspects on it. Okay. We go as far as for organizations as well. We mm. tend to do wellness. Uh, days mm -hmm. so if you have an organization and uh, once in a year you want to see how or understand how fit or healthy your staff mm -hmm. are we do organize health days so we can come out and oh, so you can come and do the standard tests for yes oh for an organization yeah we can do that oh, as that's well. helpful actually very yeah. interesting so it helps to know how 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 the, he the health of your patient your staff no, well i don't i don't, I don't I, I want them to know how healthy they are. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them to think that I'm checking on them. No, of course, yeah. it's, all, it's all confidential. It's confidential. Never, Whatever their yes. results are, are theirs. Their, their results, okay. confidential. Yes. What, what you get is a general picture. Mm. To that see, out okay, of 100 staff, maybe 80% of them <laughs> have no blood pressure, have high 10 blood pressure. high blood pressure, okay. and two have diabetes. So you're aware of the general, the general picture okay. of, of the well-being of your, of your staff. Of your staff. In this one day, uh, I'm a company. Yep. I've uh, gotten your service. I want on this day to come and check staff at their voluntary 
if they want to. Yeah. And then you give me a general picture. Do mm. you, part of the tests or assessments you do, will be on their mental well-being? We can do that, yeah. We do a package for the day mm -hmm. that starts at 8 o'clock or maybe finishes at 3. Yes. This is what we're going to do. Mm. So we have a discussion with you and understand what your needs are. And we also give you a picture of what we can do. And from that, we design a day Different. for a mental or health day for you. Okay. Then we say, okay, we'll do mental, we'll do physical, physical. we'll do this and that. Mm. Whatever will bring out the picture mm. that you're looking for, mm. we'll customize it to that. Okay. So staff well-being, very critically important as well. No, it is, it is. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you even do that because uh, your staff are your most important resource. And Thank if you. most of them are not physically well, mentally yes. you know, unhappy, yeah. they're not delivering. So it's a cost to you. Yeah. But anyway, unfortunately, we're running out of time. And uh, yeah. are there any last words you want to say? Anything we missed? I'm not usually one for last words. Or but, anything. Uh, Last words always feels like... I know, like last words. Like, Anything you, know, you want to highlight. They're going to, they're going to package you and send you off somewhere. I should stop saying that. <laughs> I always say it. Okay, I should, I'm not going to repeat that phrase again. Well, Anything you want to highlight. What I want to highlight is wellness. Hmm. is an element that we ignore a lot. You do... Those that drive, they service their cars once every year. The mechanic tells you... When it hits six kilometers, the filter is clogged, the oil needs a change because it's run out. The same thing happens with your body. As you grow older, things change. Your organs change, your system ages. What you used to do at 15, you might not be able to do at 30. You could stay up all night at 15 and the next day you're running around like it's normal. At 30, you probably need to sleep a lot more than run around a lot more. So it's important that annually you do health checks. We've got the stigmatization that in Uganda, these things don't happen. Mm -hmm. So I need to fly to <laughs> India yes. or wherever to get it done. Mm. They will do the same thing. Mm. There's definitely certain tests we can't do here, but those normally come as a recommendation from your healthcare provider that look, Based on what I've seen, you need this test. Mm -hmm. There's a, a scan, it's called a PET scan. Mm -hmm. It's normally done to see the functioning of body organs. In East Africa, I think we only have one machine, mm -hmm. and it's in Nairobi. It's a very, very expensive machine to set up. So it's not something that you're just going to wake up and say, oh, so you think you should do one of those? Yeah, I okay. just need no. Your doctor has to recommend that. So these tests can be done in Uganda. Mm -hmm. They're available. Yeah. Just come through to week care, get it done annually, see what your body is telling you. Mm. If it's a clean bit of health, carry on. Mm. If there's warning lights, mm. let's address them. Address them mm. And you can live a healthy, long life. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. There you had it. Uh, just like your car, you need your annual tests. You should go for them at quick care. Thank you. <laughs>